to Inscription, everyone. I have uh, very little idea what this game's about outside of the fact it might be that it's a, a card game with mysterious aesthetic. I, I really have no idea. Um, <laughs> I like card games in video games. Avid triple triad player in Final Fantasy VIII, Gwent in The Witcher 3, <laughs> and I used to play a lot. Texas old in poker, so uh, well I've not played card games in a long time. This should be fun. Let's go, Daniel Mullins. Thank you for the game. Okay, time to figure out what's on this thing. Yes. Let's do it. Um, I've already set everything up. What do you mean? I've not even started a game. I genuinely didn't even load a game up, so I don't know why it said continue. Hello, eyeballs. Another challenger. It's been ages. I wonder why no one comes here. Perhaps you've forgotten how this game is played. Allow me to remind you. Please do. Play the squirrel card. Why? Right, so the squirrel... The stoat has one blood drop. Or life. The wolf has got, and the wolves have got two lives. I feel like he's deceiving us because the squirrel's a weak card. Play the squirrel card. Alright, we can change the perspective. An horrible death. Play the stoat. Stoat. <laughs> Wolves require two sacrifices to play. Uh, I don't have enough animals to sacrifice. Bring the bell's edge of turn and commence combat. The stoat stands unopposed. Your stoat stands unopposed. The number on the bottom left is its attack power. This one. Your stoat dealt me one damage. I added it to the scale. God. If you win if you tip my side all the way down. Like this. My turn. Coyote. Your stoat stands in the way of my coyote. So... Yeah, my coyote dealt two damage to your stoat. It had three health. That means your stoat's health is two less. Yes. If a creature's health reaches zero, it dies. It's your turn again. I guess I can't do anything. You may. All right. You may draw from your deck, or you may draw a squirrel. <laughs> okay. So then we'll be able to bring out a wolf because then we can sacrifice both the stoat and the squirrel. Right. Let's take the squirrel. How oh, dull. Thank you. Then the wolf eats these two. <laughs> oh god. Fear not, the beast is sacrificed, but not removed from your deck. Wolf is strong. Can't do anything else. Three damage dealt, three weights on the scale. Because you are learning, I will pass. Thank you, friend.
Did that damage the wall? Again, the choice, a random card from your deck, or the certainty of a squirrel. <laughs> a squirrel! I don't know, why, why, do you, why do Americans pronounce it squirrel? It's like there's an E in between. I'm with you on aluminum, but squirrel, no. Right, um, let's go random this time. A river snapper, a tortoise. No, I can't do anything. Can I not just look at it? There we go. If I scroll on the mouse, oh, if I just press that, yeah, there we go. Right, so the river snapper, who is a turtle or a tortoise, not sure, can't see the legs. Has a lot of health, but does very little damage. The wolf is quite strong, but doesn't have much health. Ding dong! I think you're finished, pal. What? You've won this match. So what, we need seven hit points to win? They won't all be so easy. Let me recall your story. Oh yes. You were lost deep in the forest. A single path revealed itself. Two denizens of the forest approached you tentatively. The caustic adder, damage from its poison bite, is always lethal. Always. Okay. And the undying cat, sacrificing the poor beast, doesn't kill it. So it stays on the battlefield, but you can still bring out another card that needs to eat it. Only one may grace your paltry deck. Huh. So that the cat would mean you'd always have something to sacrifice, right? Because it's undying. Whereas the adder guarantees to kill someone else, uh, to, to kill someone on the opposite deck. Um. Um. So do we have a more aggressive card? Or one that is more of a, a support card, I guess? The problem is that the adder is really weak. So while it's like a guaranteed kill on another card, it's going to get killed itself pretty much immediately. So this is kind of like a... This is, this is like a glass cannon. I think that the cat sounds more versatile, so... Some of the creatures of the forest seemed willing to follow you. This is what we build in our deck here. You came across an abandoned sack. You found a squirrel in a bottle. Break in case of emergency. And have a second. Another useful implement. I'll allow you to tip the scales with it. Three is as much as you can carry. Thank you, sir. You were ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. You sacrificed me while I was sleeping. It was the right play. I get it. Maybe. You'll help me? <laughs> Play along for now. You may now see my moves ahead of time. A wolf cub. So th this is his... Even though these are like neutral things, these are on his side. There's a boulder in the way here. So here, the stoat 
Needs a sacrifice though, right? Lacking sacrifices for that stoat, but you do have a squirrel. Could use the cat, right? We've got emergency squirrels, right? Need I remind you, your items may help. So what does this? This tips the scale, right? If we need to like finish it off. No, but you can play a squirrel. <laughs> So, here we go. All oh, right, the cat needs a sacrifice. Uh, all right, Mr. Stowe. Mind the ambitious wolf cub, it ages swiftly. Right, got you. Right. Let's take a squirrel. Then we can sacrifice to use the cat. Now it's a full on wolf. The airborne bat flies over creatures to attack directly. Ha! My bat flew right over your stoat. Right, so if we draw another squirrel, right, then I should be able to play the snapper. We've got some emergency squirrels to use. So I don't know how often we're going to pick these up. But we're pretty tanky here. The, the cat is undying. Does that mean it can't take damage either? Uh, we're still level. Oh, we've got a wolf. So if we use an emergency squirrel... And then we can play the wolf, right? So, do these guys move forward? I'm not sure. Got another wolf. So we'd have to sacrifice the stoat again. Uh, it's probably the right thing to do. Sorry, mate. Wow, seriously? <laughs> Okay, he prevailed and trekked onwards past the bloodied terrain. Sweet. This is going to get a lot more complicated, I sense. That cat, that cat is really useful. Means we'd have to keep killing so many squirrels. The young wolf cub. It grows into a wolf after a single turn. So maybe this requires fewer sacrifices to get on the field. The meek sparrow, an inexpensive, if feeble, flying creature. So flying cards are good to... If they've got like four creatures, it doesn't matter. They fly over the top. I imagine there'll be a counter for that at some point. It only does one damage though. We already have two wolf cards, but they both require two sacrifices. So the the blood drop, the the blood drop is how many sacrifices it needs. So the wolf cub is good because it only needs one sacrifice, but it's also very weak. So if the opponent um, uses a 
a strong card to open with. The Wolf Cub's kind of screwed. I think the Sparrow's probably got some more utility, gives our deck some variety. It also only needs one sacrifice. It's got a bit more health. It could be a good way to finish off a deck, finish the game off. I'm gonna go for the Sparrow. You stumbled into some strange stones in the mist. You were compelled... Am I blocking... I'm blocking... I'm reading the stuff anyway, it doesn't matter. You were compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice, one that will be lost forever. What? I don't want, I don't want to lose either of these guys. Oh, come on, I just, these are brand new cards. Why? I'm going to keep the cat. An undying, an undying cat is, I feel like has much more utility. Oh, that sucks. Mighty Leap. A card bearing this sigil will block an opposing creature bearing... Oh, okay. So that's the counter to flying cards. Mighty Leap. I think I'm going to have to get rid of the Sparrow. I feel like the cat is... I mean, <laughs> I don't want to feel like I'm being like a too sympathetic towards cats. I'm a dog person, so this isn't some kind of cat agenda. <laughs> um, I prefer dogs. I'm like partial, I'm like allergic to some cats, so I definitely don't have a bias. If it was just a case of choosing animals, I'd happily throw the cat in there. <laughs> um, well, let's, um, hang on. Many lives. When a card bearing the sigil is sacrificed, it doesn't perish. So it's only for sacrifices, so this could die itself. Oh look, the cat turns disinterested. I hadn't noticed that. Ah oh, man. Sorry. That's, that really sucks. <laughs> Pick me? Why, because I've sacrificed you so many times. I don't really like the river snapper too much. It doesn't do anything. Alright, you asked. <laughs> what an honour. Oh, so he gained some of the power. That was a terrible idea. The ghastly, a ghastly spectacle, but the soul of the sparrow now lives in the stoat. Oh, that's stupid. I should have used the wolf then. I didn't know that's how it worked. You tricked me, stoked! But now the weakest card's got a really good ability. How am I going to sacrifice you now? Damn it, I've been fooled by the tutorial. This game's too self-aware. Hello. Oh. Behold! My totem. It inscribes my canine cards with the airborne sigil. Okay, that's terrifying. That's what I wanted to do to my wolves. <laughs> He's completely insane. You see that, right? No care for the rules. Pathetic. Really. Enough. Only keeps me around to watch me suffer. Oh, is he talking about me? Got a sentient stoat. I don't like it. Alright, so he's got a flying coyote and a bat. Um, so we're going to need to get the stoat out, so... Back on the board, baby. These two can't get on. My totem has granted the to My totem has granted my coyote the power of flight, that makes sense. Have I just lost? Um, 
So we've got a wolf and the undying cat in our deck here. If we get the wolf, we're screwed. So I'm going to have to go for a squirrel. I'm afraid, Mr. Stoat. I think we put the river snapper on. Sorry, man. Just because he's tankier. I think I lost. Yes, thanks. Yes, you had a che a cheating icon. I could have used the secret uh, the, the the tools. Using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. Get up from the table. Fetch me the candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door. Uh. Alright. Oh god. Grid based movement. Above the barrel beside the door. Yes, sir. Now sit back down. Let me explain something to you. Uh oh. That was one of the two mistakes you can make here. If you make another one, I must sacrifice you. Now, where were we? Is this some sort of meta game where I'm actually one of the cards in his deck or something? Like the Stoat is to us? Now, where were we? Right, so I can't lose again. I think I could have won that if I would have actually remembered to use my tools. I apologise for that. Right. The, ma the, the flighty... That's a flighty. The flighty elk, it moves after attacking. Another undying cat. And the proud wolf, a vicious contender. Is that any different to our other wolves? Sprinter. Oh god. Oh, oh! I didn't mean that. I was supposed to right click. Oh well! Okay, so we've got. That's another sacrifice, and I don't know what the bonfire is. What? Who could I sacrifice? I could make an extra powerful wolf. could sacrifice... well, I think that the thing that gets transferred is the, the power, specifically, and I don't think we've got anything that has any powers, so there's no point, other than what we just picked up. Let's uh, see what this is. Fork in the road. We came across a small group of survivors. Faces shrunken from starvation, they huddled around a campfire. They looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come, warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. They want to eat him. Warm it by the fire. That will enhance its power, said another. You notice one of the survivors wiping drool from their mouth. Can I not back out then? <laughs> the poor stoked. Alright, let's send in a wolf, I guess. Fire warms the poor wolf, enhancing its power. One of the survivors reached towards it, another gnashed their teeth. Without a word, you pulled the wolf away from the fire and left. Oh, right. I thought they were going to die. Is this another game? Right. There's a grand fur. Uh, this will block any flying creatures. He has a grizzly bear. We've got two wolves, cat and a squirrel. I said, I said the American way, squirrel. Right, so we can get um, our wolves on to do some damage here. 
problem being he what the wolf will likely die if it's heads up with the with the grizzly bear. So we're best putting the wolf on this side, I think, rather than going toe to toe with the grizzly. We can do some good damage to it, but either of our wolves will die. Oh wait, doesn't the cat have to sacrifice something to get on the board? Oh crap. Did I just lose? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna need to make some moves here, so... Alright, let's take the strong wolf. Right, we're going to have to take down the grizzly bear at some point, so we're going to need to take a squirrel here. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Uh, we've got a free squirrel, so let's see what we get. We've got an elk. What did that do? Sorry. Our bang the sigil will move in the direction inscribed on the sigil. I'm not sure what that means, but. That's probably a bad play, but. I think we can win if we use this, can't we? There's a way out for both of us. It's somewhere in this foul cabin. Be silent or I'll tear you to shreds, right? The stoat is on our side. <laughs> Should I be making notes here? Ow! Oh! That sucks. <laughs> Right, so we can either go left, we get a card, and we also get some more items. Or we go right, we get a card, and we're able to make one of our current cards stronger. Okay, so the stoat is our friend. He, he understands what's going on. <laughs> okay. And we rip out one of our own teeth. Uh, um, I'm going to go for the items, I think. Quoth the raven. The conniving raven, a blight upon the skies. Airborne, yep. Yeah. Mighty elite, yep. Yeah. Grizzly bear, the monstrous grizzly, its form speaks enough of its efficacy. Um, not a big fan of having to do a triple sacrifice. I don't think our deck's strong enough for that, but it's quite tanky. And another elk. Grizzly's got no special abilities, it's just a, a damaging tank. Considering we got rid of our other flying card, um, and we've already got an elk. The grizzlies, I don't know. I think we're okay having a combo of the wolf and the wolves and the snapping turtle thing. So I'm gonna take the raven. Alright, then we're gonna pick up some items. Hopefully. A gust from this may lift your creatures into the air if for only a turn. A black goat. It's bleeding yields three blood if you can ignore the bleating. I'm not sure how that works. And a boulder. A rock may get you out of a hard place. Okay, these are pretty cool. To the user, a black goat is created in your hand. A black goat is defined as zero power, one health, a worthy sacrifice. Huh.
A boulder in a bottle. A boulder is created in your hand. A boulder is defined as zero power five health. And Harpy's Bird Leg Fan. Your creatures will attack as though they have the airborne sigil this turn. Do I only have, can I only pick one? Like if we're up against something like that grizzly bear, which is just doing tons of damage, I guess the boulder's quite good. It'd hold it up for two turns. The black goat, I guess, is just a glorified. Oh, but the black goat needs to sacrifice something to get on the board as well. Hang on, let's read that again. I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure what the black goat does, but it sounds kind of interesting, right? The boulder is like purely defensive. Very useful, but I think I'll go for this. Um, the tip ripping my own teeth out to win me. Uh, I'm, par I'm partial. Uh, the fan is alright. I'm going to go for the boulder. Feeling overburdened enough with a uh, full three items, you carried on. Yeah, so basically, if we just keep using items to win, can we go backwards? Wait, what? Oh, right. We can come out. Okay. Right, so there's, there is a way out, apparently. Okay. I hadn't realised. So we've got a chest, a safe, a door with a light flickering behind it. The ominous eyeballs. Can't really interact with anything just yet. I'm sure the stoat. Right, there's no sound difference there to tell us. Oh. Give me that. Got a cook oh. Cuckoo clock. Uh 12 o'clock, right? Or 6 a.m.? How do I move the small one? Do I have to keep clicking this to make the hour hand go around? Uh, want a dial? Oh, there is a small dial. God's sake. 6 a.m. Does it fit? I don't know. I imagine the bottom one will come out eventually as well. That's a wolf totem. Globe. Probably offensive to flat earthers, right? Um, <laughs> got a, a a knife held by a squirrel that's held in some sort of contraption. I uh, can't interact with anything in this until we get a key, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And this looks like a boss fight. Maybe we can go back to the satchel. Oh great, what does that do? The trees seemed to close in around you as a chill mist descended. In the distance, you could hear the clinking of metal on stone. A hobbled figure stood in your path. A blacksmith? No. Uh -oh. Yeehaw! was the prospect prospector <laughs> he's doing the prospector again easy boss the mule's key the mule the mule is key uh, 
Right, so we have to get to the m mule. Got you. Right, so the, the mule doesn't do any damage, but it moves across each time. Right? At the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing this sigil will move in the direction inscribed on the sigil. So the mule will move to this slot, whereas the coyote is going to move here. Right? Coyote does two damage. Stoat has three health, but it's also can also fly now. I think it's better if we take the damage rather than the stoat taking the damage, so... <laughs> this spot? You sure? Yep. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh! What the hell? I thought he was supposed to move! Oh, I guess he's blocked by the uh, coyote. I don't know. Um, right, the stoat's going to get sacrificed again, I think. I don't know what this black goat does. Right, sorry Mr. Stoat. Right, let's get cracking on this mule. Right, that's quite a lot of damage. Oh, I just lost. I'm dead. Is that game over? More gold for me. Do I have to start the whole game again? You aren't dead yet. This isn't purgatory. Though you may think of it that way. Before you expire, I must ask you a favour. I would like a memento. Your very own death card. It's quite plain at the moment, isn't it? We will work together to amend that. I want this to be the perfect memento of you. Here are some of the cards from your mediocre deck. We can put them to good use. Please choose a card to draw the cost from. Um, sorry, Mr. River Snapper. Cost of two blood from the River Snapper. And another, this time I will use its power and health. The numbers. Three power and two health from the wolf. Uh, the sigils. I'll take that. I'll go for the cow. I never did ask your name. Uh, I always call myself Final Fantasy names. There is now but one final matter. The portrait. Yes. You do not need to smile, oh. Was that game over then? Here we go again. Another challenger. Perhaps it's time. Perhaps you can understand bones. The resourceful opossum costs two bones. <laughs> you gain a bone when one of your creatures perishes for any reason. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. 
Right. Oh, he's, oh, he's got a rattlesnake. It's not poisonous, though. It's quite weak. Uh, we could use uh, a bonus squirrel and get the wolf out. The wolf would die to this as well, though. Yeah, fine, let's just use an emergency squirrel. And I'll put him over on the far side. From the death of your creature, you've gained a bone. You will not lose until it is spent or the battle ends. So I could get the possum out as well. Sack it. Here we go. Right. What have we got? A bullfrog? Great. Um, I don't want to sacrifice anyone for a bullfrog. A well-earned point of damage. I didn't think you would really do it. How brutal of you. You dealt me more damage than you needed to win. <laughs> However, in my game, such feats are rewarded. To be precise, a tooth to keep for each extra damage dealt. The trapper may be interested in your spoils. Right, so have we started again? Oh. I forgot your figurine. Get up and fetch it for me. It's beside the safe. Um, am I allowed to save? Last saved 18 seconds ago. Right, um, I think I'll leave it there, guys. So it's pretty interesting, right? This, we've got a, it's like a mix of playing the card game and pick, uh, figuring out how to get out of this cabin. Uh, I don't like that my deck is now gone. I imagine I could have won that somehow, but I didn't account for him playing a very strong card. But maybe it's a Dark Souls first boss thing I was supposed to die. Probably not, but... Interesting. Right, well, uh, we'll leave it there, yeah. We'll leave it there, guys. I hope you enjoyed this first episode of Inscription. If you did, maybe leave a like on the video, and just remember, everybody, never trust an on-crate. I'll see you next time.